We told you yesterday Winona State University has issued a two-week self-imposed quarantine. And since the start of the fall semester, the school has battled COVID outbreaks and had more than 90 cases at the end of August. And new tonight, the school has more than 200 confirmed cases campus-wide. The university addressed the concern today. Fox 47's Camaria Bray is in our studio with how the campus is planning to avoid future outbreaks. Cam. Maddie, Winona State University President Scott Olson says 209 students have tested positive for COVID-19 with 121 new cases. I spoke with a Winona State student on how he is handling the education process now that the school is mandating a campus-wide quarantine. For two weeks, Winona State University is asking students to stay in their rooms and avoid interaction with others. Just even going back to campus in the first place, I was kind of uncomfortable about it and I didn't really understand why it had to open back up other than maybe from an economic perspective. So I didn't really think it was the best idea and now the cases have gone back up. So Jacob Eberhard is a Winona State senior. Majoring in film and digital media, most of his classes are online, but the quarantine is hitting some of his friends a bit harder. I have a friend who wants to go down the career path of uh, becoming a chiropractor, which he has like a lot of like labs and stuff like that. And he says that's primarily what he actually will have to go there for. Um, he said it's put a lot of stress on him as a student just in general. The university hopes the mandate can make it safer for students and staff when it is time to return to in-person classes. We have been very careful in asking for their full cooperation and compliance. To the extent we do this well, we can push back on this virus. Eberhard says resilience is one word he holds on to as he finishes up his degree. Once hopefully a pandemic does come to, the, to an end, you know, you can be proud of everything you went through and that you still powered through, got your degree or multiple degrees and you know, I think being able to handle that means you'll be able to handle a lot more in life. The university is also asking staff to work remotely and will conduct disciplinary actions for students on or off campus who do not comply with the quarantine. The administration will consider extending the quarantine if cases continue to rise. In the studio, Kamaria Bray, Fox 47 News. All right.